Have you ever wondered what sparked the age of reason, the period known as the Enlightenment? It was a time when humanity took a giant leap forward into the realm of intellectual curiosity and cultural evolution. But what laid the groundwork for this transformative era? At the heart of the Enlightenment were its philosophical foundations, shaped by brilliant minds that dared to challenge the status quo. One such luminary was John Locke, a man whose ideas would forever alter the course of human governance. In his seminal work Two Treatises of Government, published in the year 1689, Locke proposed a radical idea. Governance should be based on the consent of the governed. No longer should power rest solely in the hands of monarchs or religious authorities. Locke also introduced the concept of tabula rasa, suggesting that humans are born as blank slates, with their characters and intellects shaped by their experiences. This idea was a stark departure from the belief in innate knowledge, and it spurred a fresh examination of human nature and potential. Another key figure of the Enlightenment was the French philosopher Voltaire. Known for his sharp wit and biting critiques of religious and political institutions, Voltaire was a tireless advocate for freedom of speech and religious tolerance. His writings inspired many future reformers and laid the groundwork for the values we hold dear today. In essence, the Enlightenment was a period of questioning, of challenging old norms, and of seeking new answers. It marked a shift from accepting the world as it was, to envisioning the world as it could be. From Locke's radical ideas on governance and human nature, to Voltaire's passionate calls for freedom and tolerance, these revolutionary ideas set the stage for a period of intense intellectual and cultural growth. These were the early glimmers of an era that would come to be known as the Age of Enlightenment, a time that would forever change the trajectory of human history. But this was just the dawn. As the sun rose higher in the sky, it cast its light on other areas of human endeavor, sparking revolutions in science, politics, and the arts. These revolutionary ideas set the stage for a period of intense intellectual and cultural growth. The Enlightenment was not merely about philosophy, it was also a golden age for scientific discovery. This was a time when legendary figures such as Sir Isaac Newton forever changed our understanding of the natural world. Newton's Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, published in 1687, introduced the world to the three laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation. His work laid the groundwork for classical physics and greatly influenced the scientific revolution. Newton's laws of motion are still fundamental to our understanding of physics today, explaining everything from the flight of a basketball to the orbit of planets around the sun. His law of universal gravitation, too, remains a cornerstone of modern science. Describing how every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. But the Enlightenment's faith in reason and learning extended beyond the realm of physics. A shining example of this was the Encyclopédie, spearheaded by Denis Diderot and Jean-Laurent d'Alembert. This monumental work, compiled between 1751 and 1772, sought to document and disseminate knowledge across a vast array of disciplines. The Encyclopédie was a testament to the thirst for knowledge that defined the Enlightenment. It was an ambitious effort to compile human understanding, to question, to debate, and to learn. Its creators and contributors believed in the power of reason, the importance of evidence, and the potential for progress in every sphere of human endeavor. Diderot, d'Alembert, and their collaborators saw knowledge as a powerful tool for human betterment. They believed that by sharing knowledge they could empower individuals, challenge authority, and promote progress. The Encyclopedia was their gift to humanity, a beacon of enlightenment thinking. The scientific achievements of this era laid the groundwork for future advancements, embodying the spirit of the Enlightenment. In many ways, the Enlightenment was the dawn of the modern world, a time when humanity began to understand the potential of reason, evidence, and intellectual curiosity. And its impact is still felt today in every corner of our lives. The Enlightenment was not confined to the realm of ideas. It sparked revolutions that changed the course of history. As we delve into this era's political upheavals, we see how Enlightenment ideals fueled the American and French revolutions, reshaping the world's political landscape. Across the Atlantic in the late 18th century, 
the American colonies began to challenge British rule. The seed of rebellion was sown, and Enlightenment ideals watered it. The American Revolution was not just a fight against taxation without representation, it was a struggle for the right to self-governance, echoing John Locke's radical proposition that governance should be based on the consent of the governed. One of the most profound manifestations of Enlightenment thought in this revolution was the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Penned by Thomas Jefferson, it resonated with the Enlightenment's emphasis on individual rights and liberty. The Declaration boldly proclaimed that all men are created equal, asserting the inherent rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This was a clear departure from the divine right of kings, challenging the traditional order and placing power in the hands of the people. From America, the winds of revolution swept to France. The French Revolution from 1789 to 1799 was a complex and tumultuous period. Its origins were multifaceted, rooted in financial crises, social inequality, and political corruption. But beneath these immediate causes, Enlightenment thought played a pivotal role. The revolution's rallying cry of liberty, equality, and fraternity echoed the era's challenges to traditional authority. Liberty, as championed by Voltaire, was a call for individual freedoms, a challenge to the absolute rule of monarchs. Equality was a demand for social justice, a direct contradiction to the feudal system that had long governed French society. And fraternity was an appeal for unity and solidarity among citizens, an embodiment of Jean-Jacques Rousseau's social contract theory that societies are formed based on mutual agreements between citizens. The French Revolution was a testament to the power of Enlightenment ideals. It led to the abolition of feudalism, the establishment of a constitutional monarchy, and eventually, a republic. It was a radical experiment in democracy, a powerful demonstration that the people could overthrow an unjust system and attempt to establish a new order based on Enlightenment principles. These political transformations signaled a seismic shift in power, fueled by the Enlightenment's emphasis on individual rights and liberty. The American and French revolutions showed that governance could be challenged, that the people had a voice, and that change was possible. They marked the dawn of a new political era, one that continues to shape our world today. The Enlightenment was not just a period of intellectual exploration. It was a catalyst for revolutionary change, a force that turned ideas into action and forever altered the course of history. Culture and art in the Enlightenment era were marked by a spirit of innovation and critique. This spirit was deeply ingrained in the works of influential composers, writers, and artists who lived in this pivotal era. Classical music, for instance, experienced a transformation that still resonates in concert halls around the world. Composers like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Ludwig van Beethoven were greatly influenced by Enlightenment ideals. Their music, characterized by structured forms, clarity, and emotive power, reflected the era's emphasis on reason and human emotion. Mozart's symphonies and operas, for example, are celebrated for their balance and proportion, mirroring the Enlightenment's pursuit of harmony and order. Beethoven, on the other hand, pushed the boundaries of the classical style, introducing elements of romanticism that echoed the era's spirit of innovation and change. In the realm of literature, writers like Jonathan Swift used satire to critique societal norms and champion reason. His most famous work, Gulliver's Travels, is a biting satire of human nature and the political institutions of his time. Swift's clever use of humor and irony made his critiques more palatable, showcasing the power of literature as a tool for social commentary. The art world also saw a shift. Artists like Jacques-Louis David incorporated Enlightenment themes into their works using their brushes to challenge traditional authority and champion reason. David's paintings, such as The Death of Socrates, embody the Enlightenment's ideals of virtue and civic duty. His works were not just visually stunning, but also made powerful political and philosophical statements. These artists and creators did not just make art for art's sake. They used their talents to critique, challenge, and ultimately change their world. Their works were a testament to the power of creativity and intellect, reflecting the Enlightenment's core belief in the potential of the human mind. The cultural and artistic flourishes of the Enlightenment continue to resonate today, reflecting the era's enduring influence. The Enlightenment also brought significant religious and social critiques, challenging established norms and beliefs. In the realm of religion, philosophers like Baruch Spinoza and David Hume stood out as bold critics. Spinoza, 
a Dutch philosopher of Sephardi Portuguese origin, was a rationalist who posited that God and the universe are one and the same. This notion known as pantheism was a sharp departure from traditional institutionalized religion, and it sparked heated controversy. David Hume, a Scottish philosopher, was another key figure who questioned religious dogma. He argued that religion is a product of fear and uncertainty, rather than a reflection of divine truth. Hume's skepticism extended to miracles, which he claimed lacked credible witnesses and were often part of religious propaganda. Their critiques underscored the Enlightenment's call for religious tolerance and personal belief, challenging the dogmatic principles that had long governed religious thought. On the social front, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, a Genevan philosopher, presented a novel perspective on society and governance with his work, The Social Contract. Rousseau argued that societies are formed based on mutual agreements between citizens. This social contract, as he termed it, determines the nature of governance. In essence, he posited that authority lies not with a divine monarch, but with the people. Rousseau's ideas were radical for his time, suggesting a seismic shift from absolutist rule to democracy. His emphasis on the collective will of the people and the idea that a government's legitimacy comes from the consent of the governed went on to influence numerous political revolutions, including the French Revolution. These religious and social critiques of the Enlightenment period were not without controversy. They challenged long-standing beliefs and norms, and they were met with resistance. Yet, they also sparked dialogue and debate, pushing society towards a more open, tolerant, and democratic direction. These critiques, while controversial, played a crucial role in shaping our modern understanding of religion and society. The Enlightenment was a period of profound change, but what is its legacy? This is a question that still resonates today. One cannot underestimate the lasting impacts of this era, which fundamentally altered the course of history and continues to influence our present. The Enlightenment's philosophical foundations laid the groundwork for democratic societies. John Locke's radical proposition that governance should derive from the consent of the governed still echoes in the halls of power. His idea of tabula rasa, that humans are born blank slates shaped by experiences, has had far-reaching implications in psychology and education. The Enlightenment also inspired revolutions, forever altering the political landscape. The American Revolution, with its Declaration of Independence echoing the era's emphasis on individual rights and liberty, was deeply influenced by Enlightenment ideals. The French Revolution, too, was a testament to the era's challenge to traditional authority, with calls for liberty, equality, and fraternity. Advancements in arts and sciences are another testament to the Enlightenment's legacy. The era's faith in reason and learning was epitomized by the creation of Encyclopédie, a compilation of knowledge across many fields. The influence of Enlightenment ideals can also be seen in the music of Mozart and Beethoven, and in the literary and artistic works of figures like Jonathan Swift and Jacques-Louis David. Yet, the Enlightenment was not without its critics, and its impact varied across different regions. Some argued that the era's emphasis on reason undermined faith, while others pointed to the social upheavals it inspired. Despite these criticisms, the Enlightenment's legacy remains undeniable. The Enlightenment was a time of profound change, a time when the power of reason was unveiled, challenging traditional norms and sparking revolutions. Today, we continue to see its influences in our democratic institutions, our scientific advancements, and our cultural expressions. Even today, we continue to feel the ripples of the Enlightenment, reminding us of a time when reason was unveiled and the world was forever changed.